this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a blending effect with a background image. So this image will blend into a sketch. So the first thing that you want to do is duplicate the image. So we'll just simply click on the background image thumbnail and drag it to the new layer icon. And from this uh, background copy, we're going to go to the filters menu, go to stylize and find edges. Uh, once you create this fine edges effect, we'll then make some adjustment layers to this to pull out the sketching effect of this. So the first step is go to our levels adjustment, click on that, and we're just going to make an adjustment to our background copy. So in the properties panel here, we're going to uh, click on the clipping mask here. So we see this little um, arrow that's only affecting our background copy and not our background image. From here, we're going to then make some adjustments to our levels. So we can pull down our black scale in to tighten it up to make the overall image a little bit uh, uh, darker so that we could see these lines um, a little bit more prevalent, as well as the lighter value. So we can kind of pull this back and forth to make an adjustment that um, works well for each individual image. Once we're happy with this effect, we're going to then desaturate this particular image. So we'll go to the adjustments level here, go to hue saturation, and again we're going to clip this to our background copy, go down to our properties panel, and click on the clipping um, adjustments in the very bottom here. From here we'll go to our saturation and reduce saturation all the way down to minus 100, so we're pulling away all color um, completely from that. Uh, to see how this effect kind of works here, we'll click back onto our background copy, from our blend mode from normal, we'll switch this to multiply. So we actually see this kind of sketching effect with the color image underneath. If you need to make further adjustments, you can just simply click on your levels or uh, hue saturation, make any minor adjustments to um, the overall image itself. So we're going to line it up a little bit more. From there, we'll just click on our background image and we're going to click on a new layer. So just simply click on a new layer. So we have this layer one in between our background copy and our background image. From here, we're going to create this kind of paper type of image. So we'll go to the edit image, go to fill, and fill with white. So we're going to have our contents with our use white, our mode as normal, and our opacity at 100%. Click OK. So we're just going to have this kind of filled piece of paper at this stage. From here, we're going to then create a layer mask. So we'll go to our layer mask option right underneath our layers panel. And we have our options here with our layer mask selected. In our tools box, we're going to go to our gradient map option here, which is our, um, right underneath the eraser tool. From here, we have our drop down option. We're going to choose the very first option here from black to white. From here, we can then just simply um, click on a particular area, hold and drag across our image to create a gradient from our photographic image to a sketch image. You can kind of try a variety of different angles if you want to um, work with. Um, so from bottom to top, that kind of looks interesting from the bottom to the top. So we have this kind of photographic image into a sketch. So he's actually kind of sketching his own drawing from there. You could also choose a range of different um, types of gradients here as well. But that's pretty much um, up to you and how the image works. So using a blending effect with a background image.